Water's halfway up our door in the front. You can barely see our mailbox. Hurricane Harvey hit us, uh, hit us pretty hard. Our neighborhood, specifically uh, Whispering Pines here in Baytown, pretty much devastated the whole the whole neighborhood. It's our initial inspection of our house. We had about five uh, five foot of water in our house, so we were out of our house for a good uh, 10, 11 months. You know, during the whole uh, rebuild uh, process, there's a statue right here. It gets crazy because as much uh, water as we had in the house, the statue never moved. Time to go. You know, we opened up the window and and uh, both my wife and I climbed out of here with you know two two sets of uh, changes of clothes and. We were immediately thrown into this whirlwind. Um, we just got married. Um, something as devastating as Harvey, you couldn't even imagine. So to prepare for it or even try to come up with a plan for, and we have three kids. We couldn't live here. The whole um, bottom story had five feet of water in it. So it was totally gutted to the studs. Was, uh, I was contacted by uh, ESPN through the Cowboys via email, looking to do stories on uh, Cowboys uh, season ticket holders for We The Fans show. Filled out a survey, you know, sent it in, didn't think much about it. Later on, we were taking care of, you know, making phone calls with the insurance companies and and uh, various matters like that. And I checked my email, and I had a I had a follow-up email from one of the producers at ESPN. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're leaving. And uh, he reached out to me to see how my family and I made out during the storm. So it was actually the last thing I wanted to bring, bring up to my wife after, you know, we just left the house with a couple of changes of clothes and weren't sure what our next move was going to be. You know, we both kind of knew why they were reaching out. You know, we realized that a lot of people in this area, you know, were being affected by the storm. The show took, uh, you know, the better part of, uh, I guess it was about seven months that they followed uh, my family and I. During that time, you know, the Astros were making their uh, their World Series uh, push. You know, and our house was get to the point of, uh, you know, putting things putting things back here and there. And it was probably one of the last things that, that was, uh, you know, on my mind. The wall kind of spread its wings when the Astros, you know, made that World Series push. I never thought I would, you know, have a, a garage dedicated to, you know, two of my favorite, uh, favorite teams. You know, my wife graduated from U of H, so she has the th third wall over there. As the project kind of grew its own legs and kept kept going further, uh, you know, I was kind of afraid to ask at one point how much <laughs> how much we were looking at. So uh, when you're building a house and you're looking at things um, in, in that perspective, you know, it's either we're going to paint our garage and, and be uh, the super fan that he is or are we going to, you know, buy a different sink, you know. You know, when you kind of compare it like that, from that perspective, it's, it's, um, I guess it, it's over the top. But that's my husband, and so uh, you have to love those things to love him. So I'm not sure if you saw upstairs, out of control. There's two bookcases. One was gonna be the bobbleheads, and then one I said that we need to dedicate, because we go to a lot of sporting events, because he's a super fan, you know, so. Have pictures of our family going to all these events, you know, we travel everywhere to go to all these event, uh, games. Next thing you knew, I saw more and more of his bobbleheads migrating to the to the other bookcase. You know, I never thought my uh, collection would get as uh, big as it is. A lot of people ask me how many how many bobbleheads I have. And I'm probably close to 200 now. After the uh, World Series, I bought him all of the bobbleheads because he gets uh, lost in his search for this bobblehead and that bobblehead. So I was like, I'm going to buy you the entire collection so then you could concentrate on other things because you already have all of them. But it didn't slow it down. So definitely rough times, but uh, you know, I'm glad glad that our house is. Um, back to where we uh, where we want it to be. You know, it definitely definitely got a got a little bit bigger than what I thought it would that I what I thought it would be, but you know, everybody really enjoys it and uh, I'm I'm not sure it's finished yet. It's still, you know, got a little stuff to that I'd like to do to it.